if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is June the 18th, 2022, and today the, the topic is Opposites Attract. Yes, 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 man. All right. Well, <laughs> I hope that you guys had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Um, you know, overall, yeah, man, my day was pretty good, pretty, pretty slow, nothing too, too much happened. Like I told y'all, well, I think I told y'all at least probably in the after show that Thursday felt like Friday to me for whatever reason this week. And so my Friday felt like, I don't know, Saturday, <laughs> um, kind of, but not really. Um, uh, there's a few significant things that happened yesterday, um, and everything like that. One is, I guess, some some business in our household. So I guess I won't get too, too deep. But it made me wonder, like, if I should not say drop this. But, um, you know, I guess whenever anything happens, it's like, it makes me feel like, you know, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My husband, like I told y'all, he has everything planned down to the T for the most part. And in the no, no, no. I guess I learned my lessons about making plans like that. But um still, you know, he kinda has things kind of planned out in a way where it's like he can see the vision, right? Because he's made it plain on the spreadsheet. And that's a beautiful thing. Um that I was just celebrating, right? Well, <laughs> when little things come in, like those curveballs or whatever, um, that's when, if I'll be honest, I would say like a little bit of doubt comes in, a little bit of something within me makes me feel like, man, I, I don't ever want to feel like I'm a mooch, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and my, my current situation, me hustling from home, sometimes make me feel like a mooch because I know I'm not doing anything outside of my endeavors. You know, and I was just sharing it with y'all the other day and whatnot, um, in celebration, honestly. Um, but here I am, you know, yesterday, again, not saying I'm doubting my whole purpose here. You know what I'm saying? Because I do feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing um, and everything like that. But, you know, I guess just the human in me and the independence in me and the woman in me wants to be there and supporting and, and doing something to contribute to our household you know what I mean in a in a more not just a tangible way but I don't know, financially let's put it like that because because again you know if you're working right if you're working something then you're going to usually get something right in my case I am working um, but then as an entrepreneur, it's just different. It's just different as an entrepreneur. Like, cause you know, again, things are sporadic. Things are depending on other people's support to a certain extent. Like there's just so many different things involved in entrepreneurship that I understand that it's not for everyone. And I do feel like it's for me. Um, but it's just my particular lanes and my particular, um, niches or whatever the case is, art. Right, it's one of those, the word that comes to my mind, expendable things. Like, it's one of those things where everybody engages in and everybody wants my services, you know what I'm saying? In regards to, you know, your, people are always watching content or people are wanting to go and have experiences and things like that. But it's usually something like an extracurricular 
it's not necessarily always seen as a essential thing, if that makes any sense. So because of that, you know, yeah, my, my funds and my, um, services and everything is just like a sporadic case by case type of thing. Um, but anywho, so that was something that was going on yesterday and anytime curveballs come my way and, and I start to feel like, man, Ooh, maybe I need to do something. You know what I mean? Um, I'll end up scouring <laughs> indeed and, um, and things like that. And, you know, I found a few opportunities that I did submit for and whatnot, but overall, you know, I tried to kind of remain calm, tried to kind of just pray. Um, and I was looking as well. I was looking and submitting as well, but try to have an opposite reaction. <laughs> um, and everything like that. And I guess that is something that kind of leads me to t- today's topic. Um, but I guess I also feel led to kind of share with you all basically, uh, another little crazy thing happened yesterday. Um, and another thing that kind of reminds me to be thankful, right? Be grateful, be appreciative of what we have. And that was that randomly our power went out around here. I believe it happened in their neighborhood storm. It don't even seem like it was that deep of a storm, but it did or just rain out of nowhere. <laughs> um, just heavy, heavy rain. And then um, next thing we know, the power went out. And it was so interesting because I think it might have been the first time that happened with NJ being old enough to understand it. And so he's like, he was trying to get water from the fridge and he just was like, the water is gone. The water is gone. <laughs> it's like, son, <laughs> he just, not say dramatic about everything, but he just was like, the lights are, he was going everywhere. And like, it's not turning on. Um, the only thing he could find to turn on was my candles. You know, those little candles that I have on a GSL set. Now, um, he found those and turned those on and I'm like, son, it's still light outside. It's still sun. We don't need those candles on right now, you know, and everything. But, um, It's very interesting. And then at one point, the power kind of flickered on for a brief moment. And he just was so happy. Yay! And then it went back off. And um, (laughs) and we were trying to explain to him, like, uh, my husband was trying to to explain to him, like, look, it's off again. And he's like, no, it's on. It's on. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Just the cutest stuff goes on here. And, um... You know, eventually he came back on. He was celebrating again and just so happy and and whatnot. But, um, yeah, man, it just reminds you, man, like, just how much we depend on all of of these, like, random things, like the water to come from the fridge. And and you know what? One of the first things that came into my heart and mind (laughs) when the power was off and my, my, both of my devices was, like, nearing the end of its battery life, and I was like, Am I going to be able to do the juice tomorrow? <laughs> that came across, uh, across my heart and mind. Like, am I going to be able to be doing the juice tomorrow? Um, but, hey, as y'all can see, all is well. Power is back on. I'm here um, sharing the juice this morning. And so, God be the glory, man. God be the glory for all things. Um, so, yeah, man. Look, opposites attract. <laughs> opposites attract. I think, um, ultimately... What came to me this morning is uh, when faced with a negative situation, do the opposite and remain positive, right? Bring that positive to a negative situation and um, it's going to attract, it's going to attract, you know, so that's ultimately what my juice is today. (laughs) That's what I received this morning, but I guess I, you know, I give y'all a little bit more context a little bit more diff uh you know some verses some bible this morning um but yeah i mean well you know there's a there's a lot of you probably heard the phrase opposite attract before i mean usually people are thinking about relationships when they hear that they think about like two different types of personalities coming together or two different beliefs and all that stuff coming together two different people coming together um and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't you know um but we're not talking about that today. 
Um, I was also reminded of the science meaning for it. And um, and this goes more along the lines of what, you know, came to me this morning. So I feel led to share with y'all just a little bit. Um, basically, it's talking about like a magnet and how it has the north and south poles. And then if you bring two like poles uh, together, it's going to repel each other. But two opposites is going to attract. So if we just focus on the negative and positive, right? Because we're not talking about bringing the positive and positive together. Because obviously it's going to repel in the science world to bring positive and positive. So we're going to focus on the negative and negative scenario for the moment, right? So in this scientific chat, right? Look, I'm mad at miraculous right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, so we're, we're in a negative situation, right? We're in a negative situation. And if we bring negativity to that already negative situation, we know in science that it says that's going to repel. We're not going to get the results we want. It's not going to, um, you know, at the end of the day, if, if all I want is, is positivity, right? And for things to come together, come on, Lord, <laughs> that's what I want, right? I want things to come together in my life, right? Um, the ends to meet. I want the ends to meet, but I bring negative into an already negative situation. It's just like science say, what it's going to do? Repel. It's going to repel that. <laughs> it's going to repel that. <sighs> that positive reaction, right? But if I'm in a negative situation and I bring some positivity to that negative situation, and science is saying it's going to attract. I'm going to get the results I want. I'm going to get, you know, that connection I need um, to keep going. And ends are going to meet in the science world. Now, look, I, I, I'm teaching miracle. I just taught y'all something. Sorry. I'm, just, uh, I'm still um, talking about stuff from yesterday because my <laughs> NJ was talking. I'm teacher NJ. <laughs> yeah, so I'm teacher miracle. And I'm teaching y'all on today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why am I so silly this morning? Maybe I'm just happy that I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that I'm able to do this. You know what I'm saying? To God be the glory. But but let's talk about Bible, right? Let's talk about Bible. That, that's a little bit of science for y'all. But let, let's see what the Bible got to say. So Hebrews 13 and 5 says, Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So why you read that verse, Miracle? Why you even write that down? What they got to do with the opposites, the tracting and whatnot? Well, I mean, you know, I did just share my testimony, right? Um, you know, I, financially, you know, things don't make sense right now. It don't. And I'll be completely honest. Things do not make sense. I mean, I know I just told y'all yesterday I got something that's around the corner that I'm going to be releasing soon. And, um, you know, and I hope it does well. Of course I do. You know what I'm saying? Um. But regardless, you know, I want to do my best to try to celebrate it and everything like that. Now, do things financially make sense for me to be celebrating <laughs> uh, and, and even coming out with anything new right now? Does Financially, does that make sense for me in this current moment? No, it don't. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It don't. Um, however, this is where I'm at. You know what I mean? This is what I have to work with, right? And so... You know, am I going to bring negative to a negative situation or am I going to bring positive to a positive situation? Well, this verse is reminding me to bring the positive, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, what stood out to me the most in this verse, it says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, so be content with what you have, right? Be content with what you have. So. I will say, you know, even though, yeah, I did look up jobs again, you know, and I did, um, you know, I did take some time to pray as well, which was very interesting. I was getting ready to pray and NJ's like, what, mommy, what are you doing? And I said, I'm about to pray. You want to pray with me? He said, okay. You know, and I'm praying and he's trying to say stuff that I'm saying. And then, you know, and anytime I say in Jesus name, he automatically says, amen. Like that's, that's where he's at. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, we prayed about the situation and whatnot too. And, um, and I just let it be there. Like I left it there, you know? So after a while I did stop, I didn't really look up jobs anymore and stuff. Like I said, I submitted for two or three, but, um, 
you know, if the doors open, they open. If they don't, they don't. You know, God is in control. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, But, you know, I'm just going to, you know, what do I have? You know, what do I have? And so yesterday and even this morning, again, you know, after the power went out and then it came back on, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for what we have. You know, because we could not have what we have, you know. I'm grateful for our home. I'm grateful that the power is back on. I'm grateful that, you know, I have this new product to release. You know, I, I'm grateful that, uh, that I, be, I, you know, and I believe that I'm going to be able to celebrate it the way that's in my heart and mind to celebrate it, you know, uh, regardless of what things look like. And um, I believe that the prayer meditation that I listened to this morning was centered around that that concept, um, you know, of whatever it looks like doesn't matter. What matters is God and what he can do and what he will do. And and so as I was praying this morning, I just was like, Lord, you know, hey, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for being right here right now, able to do this and, um, you know, again, with the power and and everything like that. And at the end of the day, I'm looking forward to the testimony. I'm looking forward to being able to come to y'all maybe, I don't know, next week, week after next, next month, whenever, to share the testimony of what God has done and is doing, right? So, um, again, these moments, right, these moments of negativity, these moments that seem like down moments, um, do, do the opposite. Instead of being down about it, get happy about it. <laughs> Instead of being discouraged, you know, start encouraging yourself. Whatever it is, y'all, when it comes to these negative situations, let's do the opposite. And let's see what attracts to us at that point, man. That's, that's what I'm getting this morning, y'all. That's what I'm receiving. But I'm going to keep on sharing some verses with y'all. So Proverbs 15 and 1, it says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Mm. Look, I learned this a long time ago. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, man, I, I learned a long time ago that, you know, um, when you add fuel to the fire of negativity, it just keeps on going. But, you know, if you just... Now, me, I, I just tend to let things fizzle out. You know, I, I'll just I'll just stop responding after a while, and it'll fizzle on out, you know. Um, but, you know, if you are strong enough to give a soft answer, like the Bible says, right, You to actually say something, but, in a, you know, to handle it, but then also not handle it harshly, then, you know, hey, more power to you. Do it in that way, cause uh, just like again, it's it's responding in a in the opposite way, right? Instead of responding responding to that harsh word harshly, give the soft answer, cause I mean it says there what it does, and so you know that just was reminding me again about the negatives and positives. That's it, that's it, you know, or bringing that positive to the negative situations. But let's keep going. Philippians four and six it says, "Do not be anxious." about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god you know again the negative situation of anxiousness do do i need some things right now yes <laughs> right at least i feel like i do right i feel like i do even though i tell you i have everything i need man you know, so, okay, so let's switch the words then. Do I want some things right now? Yes, yes, that, that's that's a better fit for the situation. Yes, I want some things right now. But do I need the things right now? No, no. So because of that, right, I can bring my request to God and just give it up to him and let him do it in his time. Um, And in the meantime, you know, what it says, not be anxious about it. Not be anxious about it. So, yeah, if you are feeling anxious, friend, then do the opposite, right? Do the opposite. Lean the pen on God and let him give you that peace in the midst of that negative, anxious situation, y'all. These are the things coming to my heart and mind this morning. Hey, shout out to the person that's watching live. You know, I hope you stay. <laughs> I, I think I received something really good this morning. But anywho, um, I'm almost about to wrap up, though. Uh, here's another verse, Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, death and life 
are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. So again, you you know we're faced with the situation, the the negative situations, man. And you know, are we going to speak life or are we going to speak death into our situations? Now, depending on what we're talking about, the life and death might, you know, you might <laughs> want to speak death to certain things. But in the look, if we're going we're going to focus on <laughs> the negative situation right and we're trying to bring some positivity into this negative situation then that means we need to be speaking life and, and eating that fruit this fruit of life the fruit of positivity um you know yeah even though even if things are looking dead around us right things all around me is oh it's not looking good it's looking like is you know it's a hard situation well Let's start speaking life into our situations. That's because uh, why it says here that life and death are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruits. So if you love life, then let's eat the fruits of life and speak life into our negative situations, y'all. I mean, hey, that's what I received this morning in regards to uh, opposites attracting. Again, um, overall, if nothing else. They just remember that, hey, in the midst of a negative situation, if I want things to come together in my life, if I want things to attract, if I want the ends to meet, then I need to meet those negative things with positivity. And that is the juice. <laughs> There's plenty of other verses in the Go Deeper section for you all to peruse and let marinate on your hearts, souls, and minds. But the Bible verse of today is Psalm 103 and 2. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and Forget not all his benefits. Ooh, friends, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Oops, sorry. Look forward to talking to you all on Monday, if the Lord's will. Um, I just want to remind you all that tomorrow is Father's Day, so celebrate the fathers on tomorrow. Uh, celebrate, you know, those wonderful men in our lives doing wonderful things. And, um, you know, we thank and praise God for them and everything like that. But, yes, y'all, I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And, yes, I look forward to talking to y'all on Monday, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at MiracleOfWine.com.